one of the assignments of the power to get wealth number one it is a supernatural empowerment that comes upon you and it will draw people it will draw opportunities and it will draw resources to you but you see the power to get wealth is also the power that opens your eyes to see there is a relationship between prosperity and your sight hear what i'm telling you i want to reveal a mystery for you if your eye is blind you will be poor it says lift up your eyes and see as far as your eyes can see isaiah 45 verse 3 isaiah 45 verse 3 tonight's miracle service was made for you and i will give thee the treasures of darkness question there are treasures but the problem is that they are in a place where there is no light how do you now know that they are there if you do not have the power to see you can pass it and not know if i drop a bundle of money here cash and i off the light and make sure this place is dark you can keep pushing it as many times and yet not see i will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which called thee by name i am the god of israel the treasures of darkness do you know why god put darkness there so that no one else will see it until the person appointed the treasures of darkness some of you by reason of this impartation you will pass a land you have been looking every day and this time around you say i'm seeing something that no one else is seeing every major business today you see believe me when i tell you it was a treasure in darkness it was always there but the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see if your eye is blind you will stand and weary yourself at the gates of prosperity and not be able to see can i tell you if everybody is seeing what you are seeing they can't reward you for it there is nothing unique when everybody is seeing you can't clap for me for seeing what you are seeing no but if i am seeing what you are not seeing and i can bring it out and make it visible to you then you have to reward me for reaching into darkness with that light the power to prosper can place something on your destiny and you start seeing in a desert you will see an oasis there because the veil has been taken away from your eyes please listen to me most of us continue to pass wealth every day but because of the blindness of our sight you can sit down and with the eyes to see god can reveal secrets to you and in one moment look at that gentleman for god's sake he found out that nothing else was working in his life didn't go to school didn't do anything and he just felt lord what will i what can i do and he went to the field do you know there are many football fields he would have gone to the one where his destiny helper is not he would still be playing football but it takes the eyes to see listen when i pray this prayer you will know who to not relate with and who to relate with because there is jonah and there is jesus beware of who is on your boat don't carry jonah in the in a bit to look for jesus listen carefully you need the seeing eyes businessmen listen to me without the seeing eyes everything looks like white from a distance it's until it comes close you say ah no this is black the seeing eyes satan always comes as an angel of light there are some of you the financial troubles you got into in your life is because of blindness you thought it was this and found out it was not the power to prosper corrects your vision so that you are able to see why am i taking out time to tell you this so that when we start praying you don't just fall and stand for nothing you know what you are receiving the financial testimonies that will arise from tonight's miracle service will bring glory to the name of the lord can i tell you this hear me i'm saying this prophetically you will hear testimonies of nobodies people who as they are standing here they are still surprised by themselves say what has brought me to this realm products of prophecy do you believe what i'm telling you yes sir 
the power to prosper man of god listen to me if you have the power to heal and the power to do all of these things if there is no power to prosper on your ministry you are going to compromise it's only a matter of time i assure you no matter how much a man of integrity you are the bills of ministry will squeeze you to a point where you will get into things that are not godly there are many people who started well but financial pressure pushed them remember i've taught you the scripture every time there is hunger israel will go to egypt to look for food when satan wants to take you to egypt he uses hunger because when there is hunger you will leave the place of covenant and promise to a place of compromise in search for food many people have sold their hands today you see all these are young people who are doing money rituals all around some of those boys were born from christian families don't downplay the hunger of people to feel like their life is making meaning nobody will sit down and keep growing older and their lives at least financially is not making meaning they will join groups they will join all kinds of things ah somebody needs to arise oh somebody needs to arise you you need to be angry you need to be angry you need to be angry angry at your current level in one minute just pray in the spirit I will see continue but just pray in one minute in the spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me brothers and sisters remember sir isaac newton taught us that anybody will remain in a state of rest or uniform motion it will remain there for as long as it is kept there except compelled by an external force to act otherwise that means your destiny will remain where it is until a force from heaven comes to push it listen i came tonight as a prophetic midwife to tell you where you have stand is enough it's enough it's time for you to move for god's sake it is enough in the name of jesus christ arise from these ashes it's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are Micah 2 10 give it to us please ah. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10 this is a prophetic word for someone it just came to my spirit now read it from the depth of your heart are you ready one to read arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction if you remain at that level it will destroy you arise it is not your rest this is not your place you are an eagle stop dwelling around with chickens in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute lord i arise i arise it's time to arise this is not my rest i arise i depart from this level i arise in the name of jesus spiritually i arise financially i arise as touching the greatness that you are placed upon my spirit i arise someone pray this is not my rest this is not my rest i refuse to settle for less man of god pray thank god for what god has done so find your ministry but this is not your rest evangelist pray this is not your rest prophet pray politician pray this is not your rest professional pray this is not your rest please pray this is a miracle service you are praying yourself to a new level this is not my rest in business this is not my rest as touching the call of god 
what I saw in my visions is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest. Financially, this is not your rest. Listen to me. Please listen. Listen. Look up, everybody. What does it take to live where you are to the next level? On the part of God, power. On your part, anger and hunger. Two things. Anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season. If you are not angry enough, you will remain there. Giving excuses. And if you are not hungry enough, you cannot be filled. Man of God, you will remain at that level of the anointing. Praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed. It won't work that way. The nations won't place a demand upon you that way. That is the honest truth. Professional. Uh-uh. Not at that level. Someone is going to pray. Father, I am tired of this level. I am both angry at this level. Thank you for this level. But Lord, I know that I am overdue. When a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb, he calls for concern. When a baby stays in his mother's womb, if it is before nine months, that's fine. The baby has to be patient. But above nine months, doctors will tell us there is a problem. Lift your voice and pray. Bring a performance, oh God, at another level. Bring a performance in ministry. Bring a performance in family. Bring a performance in my finances. Bring a performance in my destiny. Empowerment from heaven. The grace that turns dreams to their reality. Outside are you praying? Inside are you praying? Sata branda gata katosko to fresh ela kata branda zagatish kali katoska sina kata manda praka toshko to blazi kete breskiga Power of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. When God answers your prayer, how does He answer it? By giving you power. God answers prayer by sending power. The power that turns that desire to its reality. Now listen, I'm going to pray on your prayer request. But before I start ministering, you are going to pray on it by yourself. And declare that Lord, in this season, this and that and that. Make your request known as you pray. Please do not keep quiet. And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up even if it's written somewhere you just begin to pray mention everything by name father it is within your power to make great it is within your power to prosper it is within your power to lift
Someone pray. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Listen carefully, please. In the name of Jesus, can I tell you, I know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and I knew the change. When we started this work, you see, and I say this with every sense of responsibility and humility, as at the time this work started, this thing called the power to get wealth was not there. There were ideas. I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources. And I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of God rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed, you don't even have to ask them for anything. They will be too grateful to live. They will never allow you to beg for tea and bread. Not with them. There are people who have the hearts to give. Listen, something is about to fall here right now. That's why I wanted to listen. I remember praying and studying. I had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. the anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as God spoke to me, oh, this issue of the power to prosper, I've done teaching some prosperity. Many of you have given, but I want you to be angry. Know that God is able to help men. You are Ebenezer. Ah. You are Ebenezer. This I know about the helper of men. You are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer Listen You are Ebenezer The lifter of men You are Ebenezer God can help men stop struggling alone You are Ebenezer I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace, for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising can i tell you this when that grace came with all due respect and honor to jesus i knew it has come to stay the bible says listen it says on the day of pentecost all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat he didn't visit and go back there are graces that can sit and rest on you when it stays on you that is it i submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry god has helped the ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night 
in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family you saw people educated to PhD but they could not build a single house that is a wicked spirit when your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards something is wrong with that equation and then number two we are going to pray that God will move us do you know let me tell you this any sincere man of God who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank God for all of that but that is not really the testimony I'll come and share here my greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying I came from a family with nothing serving idols and now I am on fire for Jesus loving Jesus and see what God has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people God has sent you to. The real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony. But to know that God's people are growing in leaps and bounds. Can I tell you, man of God, this may be a secret for you to learn. When there are genuine testimonies, not stage managed, not exaggerated. Genuine workings of God's power in your ministry. It is impossible for that ministry to be empty. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. The last prayer, and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight. Father, I vow that as you cause me to be great, it will not distract my work with you rather it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer someone is praying pray and let my god surprise you tonight pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight lord that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life it will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you that is usually the condition if the nations will see him through your greatness if the nations will know him through your greatness then there is no limits to what he can do if that greatness will not bring pride arrogance i believe that you have watched and listened to the message of the lord through the mouth of his servant i want you to believe every word and declaration and prayer that was uttered and that word that God speaks to your heart while listening to it, put them into art, put them to practice and live by the word of the Lord and live a faithful Christian life and prepare yourself for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom and remain blessed. Subscribe to this channel. God bless you.